So where we're we going this morning? We're going to a place they call the City of Roses. Welcome to Esparta! And it's because of Ismail Effendi, who started rose production in 1888 here in Esparta, that Esparta is renowned for its roses and the famous oils that come from them. And they celebrate this fact all over the city, especially the street lamps, which are the nicest street lamps I've ever seen. And there's so many lovely features like these bridges with flowers on. And it's not just flowers, there's artistic sculptures all over the city. Old markets, old mosques, and an interesting mix of old and modern architecture. And there are monuments to many historical figures here, and one name in particular is mentioned more than any others. So everywhere you go in Esparta, you'll see uh, Suleiman Demiral, university, the street names, the airport, and that's because he was a very famous guy who came from this area, and he was the president from 1993 till the year 2000. And there's just so many unusual things that you come across, like a boat in the middle of the city. So this is an old Chinaraja, or plane tree, as we call it. And it's apparently 800 years old. And they've done a bit of support work at the top by cutting some of the branches off, but it's still alive. It's lovely wandering around the city centre. It's got such a lovely atmosphere with so many shops, cafes, bars and restaurants, even though some are not open due to COVID. Everything seems a bit cheaper here, so I'm trying not to be tempted into the shops. <laughs> That's about 400 pounds. But for us, it's the interesting and friendly people that make this city so special. Isn't that amazing? He's doing that by hand for the last 30 years. And I've got to admit, it's the first time I've seen a mechanical Dunair cutter. Although I think I prefer the traditional version. Good Lira, good Lira. Do you believe me? What do you think? It's a bit big, isn't it? <laughs> Does it suit me? Money on me on. Does it get like That's really good. Pull it down a little bit at the front. That's better. I think you better get it. Teşekkür. Can you see ne var ne kafe var? Her şey Irish latte, caramel macchiato, white chocolate mocha, mocha, Irish latte, bonus. Sadece sütlü Nescafe istiyorum. 
He's got a machine, that's good, isn't it? Isa and Yunus, you've got to come and have a coffee with them. Nick, Isa, Yunus. <laughs> Nick is up. Hey, oh, here's your mocha. And you're not doing it just for the camera. <laughs> so we had a coffee, a mocha, and a, and a large tea, and only come to 20 lira. Do you realise it? What is it? That's fresh turmeric. Oh, is it? Right. So this this is one of the most popular places here. Everybody seems to be buying herbs and spices. Kushburna, huh? Rose, Rose hip. Kushburna. Yes. Are you buying everything? Oh, how much are these? Yeah. Look at that. Five. I think this What's is. Oh, it looks like. Never buy it enough. Uh, hot me. Hot me. Hot me, never met. She's got a whole bag full of herbs oh, and spices yeah. there. Because of the rose production here. You can't come to the city without going into a rose essence shop where they sell everything to do with roses. There's even a concentrate that you can pour into soda or water to make a nice drink. I know it's just deciding which ones to... Which to ones? <laughs> How many things have you bought? You've got two bagfuls of the stuff now. Bahçeleri var, gül havuzu var. Yani mesela güney kentte gidebilirsiniz. Orada gül bahçelerini görürsünüz. O kadar güzel oluyor ki. And there's a good choice in hotels too. So here's our hotel. First impression, it looks all right. We stayed at the Barida Hotel, which was about 40 pounds a night, which has a great view from the top floor restaurant. And what's the view like? View's nice. Let's have a look. Oh, can we open the window and... Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh. And most of the hotels have good facilities too. And after a quick, Turkish breakfast, it's off to the slopes. The main reason we came to Isparta at the end of February was to go to the Davras Ski Resort, which is only a 45 minute drive away from the city centre. The one drawback about going skiing is all the gear that you need. <laughs> I feel like a spruced up chicken ready for the oven. And there's quite a few queues as well if you're late. Okay, so we finally made it onto the ski lift. What the love? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, Go on. I, I don't really want to drop my phone, but no, you don't. Uh, so I'm kind of, um, yeah. But it is beautiful, the weather's perfect. Yeah, so you should be able to get a few ski runs in today.
Air Deer Lake can clearly be seen from Davras, so the next day we thought we'd give it a visit. And all these places are lovely in the summertime. Air Deer is the fourth largest lake in Turkey, covering 186 square miles. And it's fresh water, which means there's a lot of fish in it. Air Deer is only a half an hour drive from Isparta on a really good straight road. There are plenty of small hotels and guest houses on the peninsula going into the lake and it's especially nice place for a stopover in the summer. You're not doing very well, are you? This is how to volumate your hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's wow. great. Freezy, isn't it? God, it's freezingly... Freezingly cold? Freezingly cold. Gözden mi çıkıyor? Ne bolak bu? Saza. Hay, ne güzel ya. And this is one of the most important places in Erdir. The Huzabeyb Jami or mosque is believed to have been built in 1328 and it's a popular tourist destination. It was rebuilt in 1883 after it was damaged in the fire. So Air Deer Lake is certainly worth a visit, especially in the summertime, and it's even a nice place to stay. There were a few other touristic destinations that we thought we'd better go and visit while we're here in Isparta. So with this being the rose area, we thought we'd come out to look at some roses. But as you can see, in February, there isn't any. Then we decided to go and see the lavender fields. Okay, we've arrived at a place called Koyajak, which is 40 minutes from Esparta, known for its lavender bushes. And here is a sea of them. It's out of season at the moment, so they're not in their purple bloom, but you can imagine how beautiful and the smell of what it would be like. Sagalassos is about an hour's drive away from Esparta and it's very high up. I've got to say, this site is just breathtaking.
going to be one of the most beautiful architectural pieces I've ever seen in an ancient site. Water's cold too. And to think I didn't know anything about this place. It's amazing. And you can see why they came and built here with fresh spring water like this. Wow. Beautiful water. This site is absolutely incredible. I can't believe I've not been here before. So follow us on Facebook, Mick Amja, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mick and Trudy, if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.